So I'm 07 and I'm playing Yasuo. And this is my journey on becoming a decent Yasuo player. So I was versing Darius and I thought this trade would be pretty good because I had the bigger minion wave. But I really underestimated Darius' damage and he brought ghosts so I just died. So I'm back in lane and I'm pushing in my wave even though it's really risky but I didn't want Darius to freeze up on me and I'm already behind. And I really wanted to push this wave in even though I knew Darius was ahead and had ghosts so I couldn't really push up and now I'm going to die. And now I'm really behind but my Mumi is calling for help and I see this opportunity where we could actually turn the fight on Needily. So I go in, I then question mark a Mumu and then he ults the ground and then I die. And now I'm sitting one turret away from Darius thinking to myself how can I turn this around. My Morgana comes and I'm like I don't really want to fight this but like maybe we can win and it kind of looked like we were going to win. But then Soraka ults and then I die. And then I was gonna go cover mid lane but I got hit by Needly Q off guard and I just die. And now I'm overextended in the top lane and I'm versing Needly and I'm actually on guard so maybe I can win this fight. And now here we are. 07 Yasuo. Did I overextend? Did I fight from behind too much? Or was it just communication? I just can't put my finger on it. I can assume that my Yasuo is flawless. But if it was flawless, how did I die so many times? Well, we can obviously work backwards and death 14 would have been a result of being behind because of death number 13. But death number 13 would have been because of death number 12. And death number 2 would be a result of death number 1. That's it. That was the problem. I lost all other 14 duels because I accidentally died in the first place. Because he was lucky. Alright, now that I know that, I can quickly win this game and I can try again next game. Wait a minute. Anyways, in regards to lucky players, I'm going to start this new thing called Yasuo Roulette. It's basically a game I invented where you play Yasuo and you try not to die in the first 3 minutes. It's a pretty low risk and high reward kind of game. Yasuo Roulette. A low risk and high reward Yasuo game that only the daring would try. Itching for a tower dive right now? No, you can't. Yasuo Roulette. Want to chase Kennen into that really big dark bush? No, you can't. Yasuo Roulette. Itching for another tower dive right now? You can, because it's three minutes now. So go for it. Yasuo Roulette So even though the lucky factor is now ruled out, I still ended up dying 14 times and that was because death 1 still occurred. The only possible explanation was that I tried to help my team. Why did I do that. At this point, it's best to just move on to the next game and try again. I decided to change the variables a bit and play Twisted Tree Line just to see. Nope, I'm still dying. I literally have 12 deaths of the team's 13. My team's trying to communicate with me. Q, auto, back off. Oh, this guy never heard of Yasuo Roulette before, has he? And I swapped out my teleport for Ignite, just so I can't help my team.
Yeah, I give up. Uh, my Yasuo can't be helped. And that's it for the video. Thanks for playing Testrelon. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And I lost my voice.